So I mean, if you've uh, maybe heard this, but in the middle of the season, a team from Louisiana and a team from Alabama met, uh, played each other in an important divisional game, and uh, the visiting team won that game, and now they're going to play in a rematch in a championship game. And you don't have to wait 42 days to uh, see what happens on the field. So I'm not talking about LSU Alabama. I'm talking about Grambling State and Alabama A&M. And uh, we certainly are very excited to have two very quality programs, two very quality coaches uh, to uh, represent us today. And I'll let uh, the coaches introduce the student athletes that they've got with them, and then we'll open up for interviews afterwards. Uh, but the visiting team on the scoreboard tomorrow will be the Grand Lake State Tigers. They're seven and four overall, went six and three, won the Western Division outright. They come in on a six game winning streak. And I think uh, I think when you were one and four, Doug, I think somebody on the weekly teleconference asked you if your season was over. And correctly, you said, we still got a lot of games to play. He hasn't lost since. So uh, congratulations to Grand Lake State, head coach Doug Williams. Thank you with uh, the young guys that, that uh, well, this to Birmingham, and two of them will be the Vegas. Clear, for example, who the cold defensive and player of the year, linebacker, stand up clear. Uh, and Mario Lewis, wide receiver, uh, who certainly, uh, two of the reasons why we are standing here uh, today. Um, before I see Dr. Frank just walk in, good morning, Dr. Frank. Good morning. Uh, I, I just like to say this, you know, and, you know, I'm fortunate to be standing here and, and, and coaching against uh, uh, a good friend of mine. You know, 1988, January 30, January 30, 1988, we had an opportunity to share rooms together at the Lawrence Wealth Resort uh, right outside of San Diego, and that was the day before Super Bowl. Uh, no one could have told me that uh, you know we would have been standing here today, uh, the last 10 years. That, that AJ has been in um, Alabama, uh, a and and the time I spent at Grambling, that we would have an opportunity to coach against each other. Certainly not today. Uh, I'm starting off one and four. Uh, I like to tell the story that uh, we were on life support at, uh, at one and four. And, you know, when they call the family in to gather around, they want somebody to pull the plug. <laughs> and uh, we refused to let them pull the plug. And then what we did was went out every day and, and did exactly what we did the first five games. And that was to work hard. And uh, at the end of the day, we told the guys, you take one game at a time. And, and we've done that over the last seven weeks. Let's take it one game at a time. And we got one game left, and we take it one at a time. Because other than that, uh, you can't play the game. And uh, we're fortunate to be here. We're glad to be here. And, and we understand that the opponent and how they got here and some of the things they had to go through. They started off a little slow also. But knowing AJ and, and, and the way he coached and the team he coached, the discipline, the way they play, uh, I, I'm certain to feel like it's going to be a great game tomorrow. And then at the end of the day, you know, whatever friends we are today, we'll be the same friends tomorrow. And it's about an opportunity for the young guys that uh, we have an opportunity to put in the field. So I just want to say thanks for, for allowing me if you were this morning, certainly uh, glad to be here in the uh, championship game. Uh, before I said that, I'd be remiss to recognize Miss uh, Miss Nixon, Ophelia, and uh, you know, and I say that because some of the recognition I got in my playing day was directly a tribute to uh, her husband, Colin J. Nixon, for some of the old heads like myself and guys that come around. <laughs> really mentioned the wagon master and people like that last night; they would understand that. And certainly, Coach Ellis. Who uh, uh, been a long-standing uh, supporter of Grand State from basketball, from baseball coach, or whatever it took, and um, Big Stevens, uh, you know, from Grand State University, and all the other inductees, the Tillmans, uh, the Light Walker, and, and uh, I'm my man from Arkansas Pine Bluff. You know, when he got up, he was talking about the team from Tennessee. I knew he was going to talk about it because when you're around so many older players, uh, the James Harris of the world. You know, they would call Scub Barnett. I knew exactly where he was going last night. And uh, you know, it made me feel good when you walk in the room and, and you hear those type of stories. And when you talk about the swag to me, and I'm sure everybody else feels the same, that had an opportunity to play in the swag, I always say that if you did not play in the swag, you missed a great opportunity. <laughs>
you, you remember running back having that kind of day in your he, he, had, he had he had a, he had a great game against us when we played down in the ground. But, you know, this um, the past two weeks we've been working real hard on the running game and the running uh, the, the specific play that he was successful on. And we've been working real hard on that. So I don't think he's gonna have another day of 178 on us again. Yeah, yeah. Uh, obviously, the game plan is to slow him down and force the quarterback to to, to be yeah. a passing quarterback for the game. That's yeah. that's that's what the object is. Yeah, yeah. You weren't very good against you guys the first time. No, no, sir. Yeah. But I mean, you don't know what what can happen. I mean, he played a couple of games and he probably got better, just like how we got better. You know what I'm so I, we can't say that. Are you aware that he's nicked a little bit? Yeah, we heard he got nicked, and we saw on film that he got nicked against uh, Prairie View. Okay. So we don't know if he's going to play or not. How much how much attention have you guys give to the other court? You know, he didn't play against you, but he's been on some film that you watched, I'm sure. Yeah, he's been on some film, and we heard he's a, he has the leading rusher. He's the leading rusher. He's a, he holds a rushing um, at UAB. He's a he was quarterback rushing game. leader at UAB. Right. So we're confident that if he get in, he's probably going to take off a lot. Does that cause a problem with having study for two quarterbacks? Uh, not really, not really, because our main focus is really on the running back. Uh, you got a ring in what, 08? Yeah, I had a ring in 08, my redshirt freshman year. Okay. And uh, obviously this would be my second one. Right. Yeah. And it was a great feeling when we won it in 08. And I, I, just, I tell my guys about it all the time, like, I mean, there's nothing like winning a championship ring. Coach always said that just to expect, you know, more coverage on me. So, and that was like my first game that I had a big game. So, and then now, you know, during the season, I had better games. So, I pretty much expect this. Yeah, Graham has been successful in this game. Only lost once. Hence, I even come to the championship game. You guys got pretty excited. If it comes down to it, you guys can pull this thing out. Um, that's our plan. So, you know, we're going to, you know, prepare two weeks straight for it. And we plan on coming up with the victory.